Hello everyone, welcome to the short and quick tutorial on Drawser for mobile pen testing. This is something for beginners, however you can really play around with it and you can find out much more things than the ones I show here. So to begin with, we will first go and install Drawser in our computer as well as our smartphones or devices. Okay. For that, we need to look for Drawser GitHub, and this is the uh, link that you need to go to if Secure Labs Drawser. Installing is really very straightforward and simple. The prerequisite is Python. You can install it on your Windows or on your Linux. To install, all you need to do is git clone. Okay. It's pretty easy. Just clone it and you will have it uh, on a CD in Drawser. For Windows, it's more or less the same thing. After you have installed it on your desktop or laptop in your Windows or Linux, you will need to install the agent. For that, we will need the Android Debug Bridge. Okay. So once you have you, once you are in ADP, simply type in this and you will find that this APK will be installed on your phone. But of course, for that we will need to have ADP and we will need our device to be connected to ADP. So I'm going to show you how whether my device is connected or not. Sorry. Okay. Um, to connect browser with your phone and your uh, Windows or Linux, you will need to have uh, ADB devices connected. As you can see, my device is connected. All you need to do is go to developer options, turn on USB, debugging mode, and then connect these two. Once this is done, all you need to do is type in this command. ADB forward TCP 3145 TCP 3145 Okay, it's pretty easy and pre it's pretty simple. Once that is done on your phone, you will need to go to the app you just installed, the browser agent, and you will need to turn it on. Okay, it's just off and on. So just turn it on and then open a new command and type I will go and first locate browser sorry okay once you're there simply type browser console connect or for windows this uh, I have found that the same works for me in windows as well Okay, so now we have connected the browser with the browser agent. Uh, all you needed to do was install it on your Windows or Linux, install it on your phone using ADB, and then type ADB forward TCP 3145, and then open another command, and then uh, <coughs> type in browser console connect and these two have connected and now we can officially begin our tutorial so for the tutorials purpose I have downloaded an application called injured Android this was developed by Benak B3 and SC Benak for mobile pen testers so I have already downloaded the application and I'm, I'll be using this for the purpose of this video now of uh, if you want to find out what kind of package an app is using, I'm using Benac.injured Android. It could be any other app, by the way. For example, com.twitter.android, com.instagram.android. Okay. Mostly the apps we use look like that. com.something.android. Okay, for the purpose of this video, I'm using this one so to see what kind of packages this app and app is using we can simply type in this 
I will add all the instructions in my video uh, in my details so that it's easier for you to just follow along all right so now we know a bit more about this application or any other application that you will choose to see what is the application label the data directory all right but as mobile pen testers we need to find out more right we need to find out how we can attack the application or how we can protect it and for that we need to find out its weaknesses and vulnerabilities so for that there is a very easy command on Drozer how to identify attack surface it's pretty easy run dot app dot package attack surface and then you will type in the application which would be pinac dot injured android or com dot twitter dot uh, so on right okay so now we can see the attack surfaces there are nine activities exported there is one broadcast receiver exported there are zero content providers exported and there are zero services exported well uh, usually if the application is really vulnerable you will also find that content providers are also exported there will be like few numbers three or one and you will also find that services are also exported now now that we know what the attack surfaces are, how do we go deeper, okay? You can find out more on the activities. run.app.activity.info minus A and here you will place your application. So now we know which activities are exported, that is which activities are not using any permission. This is basically uh, in the Android manifest, it's something like exported equals to true, exported equals to false, right? Those permissions, these are the activities which are not using any permission. So for um, vulnerable applications, you can see that if any uh, sensitive application is being exported or not, uh, what kind of uh, attacks can be done on it, okay? The same goes for services and broadcast receivers, by the way. Um, since uh, we have an idea on the activities which have been exported and what this application is running on, let's look for content providers. In this application, we know that no content providers are exported. However, well, let's just take it again. I'll show you no matching providers this means that no content providers are exported here however if you try some others there will be uh, some instances where you may find some content providers exported and once you find it all you need to do is provide those content okay this is all that you will need to do once you find that if an application is exporting a content provider this is basically the um, big deal for mobile pen testers because a lot of time many sensitive information is leaked in this content providers without the developers knowledge so these are things if you are bug bounty hunters you can definitely report to the company all right uh, you can also look for SQL injection and this is a really fast and ideal way to look for it I uh, will run a quick scan no vulnerabilities found okay so if this application had an SQL injection vulnerability it would have appeared here and you if you are a bug bounty hunter or if you are reporting it to a company or if it is your app you're seeing you could have easily found it but since this application does not have this vulnerability uh, you're not finding it here um in hacker one reports as well as in Google you will find that through Drozer, there has been people who have found few SQL injections on few um, mobile applications of companies which are hosting bounty, bug bounty uh, options. So, I mean, it's always, since it's pretty easy, it doesn't take much time. If you're going through this, you can definitely run this uh, command and see if there are 
any SQL injection vulnerability or not. Other than that, there are plenty of other things you can do with Drozer. Uh, there's a lot of uh, documentation on it. In my opinion, you can also find run app package list. Y in this way, you can find out which packages and which apps are running on your phone. You can find out the manifest of a particular app. And you can also find out browserable activities on the device. So there are plenty of things you can do. By the way, not every company will accept a Drozer uh, POC because, you know, to connect with Drozer, we need a physical device. We need a smartphone. So they would say that uh, any, any POC or proof of concept based on a physical device is not allowed however i think for recon browser is a really good tool because as you can see within a matter of few minutes i have found out about that hack surfaces whether the content providers are leaking anything or not whether there is an sql injection vulnerability or not so uh you can if there there is an sql injection vulnerability you can still uh uh, what should I say? You can still submit a report. I mean, I've seen people submitting that report. Uh, other than that, I think it's a pretty cool, cool tool, and you can definitely do lots of work with it. If you have found this useful, let me know in the comments below. If you like videos like these, then let me know, and please subscribe to me if you find it useful. Thank you very much, and I will see you in the next video.